Hey legends, see you later. Woo, see you later. Oh yeah, see you later. What? Oh, hey, hey, see you later. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey. <laughs> see you later. Whoa, <laughs> see ya. Oh yeah, see ya. <laughs> yeah, see ya. Oh yeah. Oh, come on, see ya. Woo. Oh, see ya. Yeah, see ya. Oh, see ya. Oh, see it up. Yeah, see it up. See it up. Woo, see it up. Hey, see it up. Yeah, see it up. Woof, come on, see it up. Come on. Oh, see it up. Hey, see it up. Yeah, see it up. Yes, Sierra. The lap was a two zero three point nine zero. Oh, Sierra. Yes, Sierra. Oh, Sierra. Yes, Sierra. Oh, no, 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 see it up. Oh, oh, see it up. Woo, see it up. Yeah, see it up. Sierra 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 See it up. Oh, see it up. See it up. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Oh, see it up. Oh, see it up. Come on, see it up. Oh, see it up. See it up. Sierra. 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 Sierra.
Uf. Ei, será? É, yeah, será? Oh, será? Será? Uf, será? Oh, será? É, yeah, será? Ah, oh, será? Sei. Será? <risos> oh, será? Ei, será? Ah, será? Uh! <risos> ah, será? Ah, será? Ah, uh, se era? Ah, uh, se era? Uh, será? Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed my goofy video. I'll be sure to get the question of what about the rest of the cars in the pack, Omen? So I figured I'd head it off here as well as elaborate on a few things regarding the C8 R. So, Studio 397 basically dropped this pack right around Christmas Eve here in Australia, slightly before. There was no advanced copy or any chance to get something together before the holiday season and as I'm sure you all know, things tend to get very busy and booked up for all of us around then. This was something fun I could put together relatively fast and hopefully give you some amusement in the process. There simply isn't enough time to properly test out all the new cars before Christmas. That aside, I've been waiting for the C8R to hit a real simulator, iRacing notwithstanding, ever since it started dominating in NIMSA earlier this year. It's a car whose design philosophy really appeals and I'm heavily considering one of the latest C8 models for a road car once they hit Australia. So how is the car? So far, I've only had a chance to drive it on Sebring, as you saw. It's just about perfectly set up for that track, almost like they expected you to drive that first. I was up to my usual pace very quickly with the default setup and probably find it slightly easier to drive than even the 488 GTE. What you saw in the video was me taking on a grid of AI set to 110. That said, one of the drawbacks for me is the sound. It doesn't sound very inspiring at all and the lack of engine definition makes it difficult to shift on time. As you saw I bounced off the limiter a few times waiting for the audio cue which was often buried by either tyre squeal or opponent engine noise, both of which I'll likely turn down in the options after this. I've not driven either of the two other cars and probably won't get a chance to for a few days, so unfortunately I can't tell you anything about them. Whether or not I'll do a feature on them at all I suppose depends on how well this video does and how many people really want one. I'm currently leaning toward no, as there are so many other videos in the pipeline I want to do. Anyhow, I hope this gave you some insight to R-Factor 2's new Corvette C8R. If you pick it up, I sincerely hope you enjoy it as much as I did.